right, all right. 4.0 beta. I got some new features to go over. We're going to start off with the add device dialog revamp. Um, so some pretty significant changes on how you add devices. Um, basically, it's a new, more flexible way to discover uh, and assign devices. You can see, if you're, if you're familiar with the software, you can see some of the changes that have already been made here. Um, but let's go over them. So to launch the, the add device dialog, you always just want to right click on a uh, server and choose add device. Uh, and that allows you to add an IP camera, an RTSP stream, an HTTP stream, UDP stream. Um, so once you're in that dialog, um, it, if you've used our software before in version 3.2 and you can go look at it right now, um, it's all one consolidated di uh, dialog at the moment. So if you're looking for a specific device or you're just trying to do a subnet scan, uh, you use the same dialog. Uh, and you just check a checkbox to uh, enter the subnet scan. So in 4.0, um, we separated out those functions. Uh, so now you can see here we've got a known address and a subnet scan. I'll show you in just a second. Um, and then multi-server systems, uh, users can now choose uh, which server to assign a new device to, uh, which is nice. Before, it, it was based off of whatever server you were currently connected to from your client. Uh, the device would be added there. Now you can choose. So let's go over it. Um, right click on a device, uh, choose add device. Um, you can see here I've got a multi-server system. So I've got my desktop computer, which is what I'm recording this on. And I've got an NX2 in my system um, back over there. That's uh, got some storage drives in it uh, that I use for mainly for recording and capture. It's just my server. Um, so you can see I'm in the known address uh, tab at the moment. The known address tab, I put in a specific IP address or an HTTP link or a RTSP link or a UDP link. Uh, and, and always remember to put your uh, login and password for the source you're looking for. Um, the subnet scan is separate now. Um, it works exactly the same way. Uh, you just put the starting IP and the ending IP and then the uh, credentials for any device or stream you're trying to connect to. So that's it. That's the add device dialog revamp. Um, significant change um, for the better. So moving on, check out the next video, we'll go over another beta feature.